arrest Tunubu now. U.S. doctor drops massive bombshell 13 days to Tunubu's inauguration. Reviews shocking evidence. My people, we gonna come here this one. No, this one a very serious big way just enter our studio. We no go believe him. Um, that's still that same doctor, good man. In fact, this man no one rest. This man still they speak. They tell us say, look, we gonna forget waiting. Um, then write for book. Make una just look waiting day inside that very book before una start to the read that book. Guteman is a retired mental psychologist. In fact, this very doctor has been sensitizing us, telling us that, look, this man you people has brought into power. It's not the person you people would have brought into power that it doesn't worth it. This time around, Guteman has gone far to fish out Another very big evidence that will make Nigerians know that what he is saying is a reality. Even you to yourself, by the time you hear this very uh, information in this very content, I'm very sure that you'll be shocked. I know because we are adamant people and we don't like hearing the truth. Because Nigeria as a whole, you know, some Nigerians, they put that way, don't like hearing the truth. What they like to hear is lies, and which is not okay. You see that. So, let's quickly check the content, my dear listeners. This is Evening News. The retired United States mental health counselor, Dr. Jeffrey Guteman, has called for the immediate arrest of Nigerian President Elebola Ahmed Tunubu over his alleged links to drugs trafficking trade. The former Lagos State Governor is currently set to be sworn in as the next president of Nigeria in less than two weeks from today after he defeated the likes of Labour Party presidential candidate Peter Obi, Atiku Abaka of the PDP, Rabiu Musa Konkwasu of the NNPP, and many others in the 2023 presidential election. Bolatunubu had achieved the incredible feat after he amassed over 8 million votes in the February 25th presidential election, leading to the nation's electoral commission, INEC, announcing him as the winner and successor to President Mohamed Buhari. The election was not without controversy as Peter Obi and Atiku Abubakar have now dragged the nation's president-elect and INEC to the presidential election petition tribunal. PEPT, contesting the presidential election results while also claiming that they have won the 2023 presidential election, respectively. Taking to his official Twitter handle, Dr. Jeffrey Guteman would write that Bola Tunubu is a drug trafficker. Arrest this criminal now. Few Nigerians will react to his post with one person writing that it's not of business, Jeffrey. Nobody ever comes to your country and divide your country. Let Nigerian be for God's sake. Tunubu or Obi are not different, okay? But we prefer Tunubu because he can't be controlled by other elites. Yes, he cannot be controlled. Quite all right. But what is in his intention? You see what I'm talking about? Tunubu has an intention. Have you asked what his intention is? Um, yesterday, his, uh, his vice has given us a tip of what Tunubu's vision and, and, and plan is once he comes into power. He has given us an idea. And we, on our own side, have, we have seen a sign of what Tunubu is planning to do. Look at it. He has appointed ministers and he has also appointed commissioners. In those ministers and commissioners, who are the Igbos that are there? Who are the Igbos? 
who are the Yorubas, who are the Northerners. He filled everywhere with Yorubas. You see that? So, it means that he is telling you that his administration is going to be a tribalistic administration. He is going to be very much religious in leadership. Do you listen to what Primate Elijah Ayodele said? He said that may this terrible administration not be worse, not be worse than President Momo Bari's administration. And it is true. Yes, we have started seeing the sign. But my, you know what my prayer is? My prayer is no matter how difficult it may try to be, no matter how difficult it may try to be, it shouldn't affect average Nigerians because we have really suffered enough. We have swallowed enough ink and sinker. You understand? And that is just the truth of the matter. So, my people, my people, based on the matter and based on what has just been reviewed this very um, evening, what is your take? What is your opinion and what do you think? Please do me free to leave your comments below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.